All right. Welcome, everybody, to the State of the Stock Market Q4 2014 and Q1 2015. This is my latest update just because the markets have recently changed and there's a lot of more volatility and sadly enough I've seen a lot of people lose a lot of money recently because they're not fully prepared and I hate that. I really hate that. You can say whatever you want about me but one thing is certain I am here to make you more money and to help you lose less. Every single thing I have ever done sharing my knowledge and experience all I want to do is help. So let's get to it. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Because I am a multi-millionaire. I hate the fact that our American education system is failing partially due to the fact that many teachers are simply unqualified to teach. I had a substitute teacher, his name was Mr. Hale. He had no idea how to teach. They pulled him out of the senior citizen's home. I was so outraged and to this day I wish that every single teacher in a public or private school was qualified. I know that will never happen so this is why all I can do is take control of my university and teach you. Because guess what? I'm totally self-taught. I never had a mentor growing up. Uh, I learned every single thing that I know about the stock market through trial and error, nearly two decades now, all on the internet. And you know, I always wish that I had a mentor because I made so many boneheaded mistakes. You know, I've reduced that now, but for the first few years, even for the first few, you know, I'd say a decade at least, I did not follow all of the rules that I now possess, and it hurt me. So my goal for me is to be the mentor to you that I never had. I wake up every single morning thinking about this because I know that there's you know, really no professional schooling for this kind of stuff and those who do claim to be experts, they don't back it up. I do. This is the answer. Nearly $1 million in trading profits in 2014 for me even while I spend the majority of my time doing video lessons, webinars, uh, seminars, you know, writing blog posts, watch lists, trade alerts, commentary, new websites, TV shows, writing a book. I do a lot. Also, I traveled to nearly a dozen countries this year too and I have a girlfriend and a puppy. And my parents work with me and I'm very fortunate and I'm blessed but long story short, I make a lot of money trading and I also teach exactly how I do it. Here is my verified track record, 163% in 2014, much better than previous years, thanks to this crazy market. 66% returns in 2013, 38% returns in 2012, 54% returns in 2011, and 57% in 2010. I can go on and on and on. Ever since I started in 1999, I had one down year, and that was because I broke rules that I now live by. So you can say, oh, you had losses that one year. Well. I broke the rules. I didn't understand how important the rules were, but I broke the rules. And we'll get over those rules in, in a little bit. My proudest accomplishment, two trading challenge student millionaires so far. And this actually has to be updated. There's actually several trading challenge student millionaires, two official ones that will let me use their name publicly. Uh, a few other trading challenge student millionaires who don't want to be so public with the money that they make and you know while that stinks I have to respect that. The point is I now have several challenged student millionaires. Uh, this was me and Tim Grittani on Fox and Friends a few months ago. He turned 1500 into a million dollars. He is now over two million even though he's also had some losses because he's been breaking some of the rules lately. He actually got up to 2.4 million and now he's back down to 2.1. So even when you make millions of dollars you're not above the rules. And this goes for me, this goes for other millionaire uh, traders that I know, and this is why doing webinars, focusing on the basics, giving key tips that I've used to stay safe. Because, you know, Tim Grittani, yes, he's done fantastic, but him and several other millionaire traders and five and six figure traders that I know, they've lost a bundle 10, 20, 30, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 1.7 million in the past few weeks. I'm talking about you, David V. Yeah, you know, you cannot break the rules if you expect to 
keep doing okay and, and not have these, these big losses. I hate big losses. I just hate that. I want you to understand that. And I might be on Fox tomorrow, by the way. I, I don't know. I wish they had told me, you know, going on TV last second uh, is always interesting, live TV. Uh, they invited me, so now they're just working out a time. Um, they said that I'll probably be filming uh, sometime between 3 and 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Um, I can't say that 100% certain. You know, I've been bumped before uh, when I was on CNN. <laughs> We got bumped because of a, a few wars, but they eventually showed me, and it was a good segment. Um, but let's talk about volatility. The easy money is still out there. It's just harder to find, okay? Money doesn't disappear. Opportunities don't disappear. You just have to know where to look, and this is not as easy as you might think. So how do you deal with it? I don't want you getting slaughtered. And the key is that successful traders adapt to changing market conditions. And I've said this the past few months, I've said this the past few weeks, I've said this the past few days, and a lot of people just don't listen to me. They're like, ah, Tim, you know, you trade your own stuff. Listen, the rules that I teach are the rules that I've lived by, and these rules have made me a multimillionaire. I show every single trade. You see that I've made over $4 million after starting with just a few thousand. Uneducated traders lose. This is the sad fact when it comes to market volatility. They do not adapt. They do not take a look at new opportunities. They keep trying to trade the same way, and they get confused. They don't understand why is this strategy that worked for me so well before not working anymore. If you actually read uh, the new November issue of Men's Journal, I'll give you a great example where I get in a fight with the Wolf of Weed Street, and this was... This reporter was writing about us during the marijuana uh, stock boom in early 2014. And the Wolf of Weed Street, you know, he was a glorified newbie. He made a lot of money with the weed stocks, but he kept doing the same thing. He didn't lock in profits. He kept buying on dips, no matter my warnings. I got in a whole social media fight with, like, all of these marijuana stock investors, or investors, you know, newbies. And they made a lot of money because they're all potheads, and they're very excited to make money off their hobby, finally, legally. And the sad thing is that they all got slaughtered. They kept buying these marijuana stocks on the dip saying, this is the bottom, this is the bottom. And there has been no bottom, and most of these marijuana stocks that they were trying to debate me on are down 90 to 99%, and they have lost nearly everything. I'm glad I saved a few people. I made a, enough of a, a ruckus, which I'll talk about in a second. But you need the right tools during times like these. You need the right mindset. And that's what I'm here to help you do. Because if you follow newbies, yes, you can make some money, especially in bull markets. And the newbies seem like geniuses. This time is different. Marijuana stocks are going to keep going up forever. Sykes is an idiot. And then when the market changes, as is inevitable, they get crushed. And I don't want to gloat. I don't want to be like, oh, I was right. They were wrong. Again, going back to my first point, they lost a lot of money. And I hate that. I don't wish losses even upon my worst enemy. I love the stock market because of its potential, and more importantly, because if you get disciplined and really study the rules that I'm about to show you, you can really bank again and again and again, and you don't have to give money back. You don't have to get slaughtered. You don't have to be afraid. But you have to have the right mindset. So which strategy should you partake in? You know, there's a lot of different strategies, right? You've got Forex where you could guess on different currencies, like what is the euro going to do? What is the U.S. dollar going to do? But the problem is that, is that you have to guess what's going on with monetary policy all the time, you know? What if some random Fed governor makes a comment and talks about the economy? That's going to affect the U.S. dollar. And Forex is 24-7. It never closes. You also have options and binary options, which have gotten hot lately. I don't understand it. I've never met a consistently profitable options trader. Mutual funds, sure, you can have profits, but 5 or 10% per year, you know, you're going to be Warren Buffett's age by the time you become a millionaire. If you notice, my millionaire students, even the private ones, are not as old as Warren Buffett. And Tim Grittani just graduated college. A lot of people say, oh, it's impossible to turn a few thousand into a few million. They said that when I did that. Now no one's really saying that, now that Tim Grittani has done that. And several of my other students are well on their way to becoming millionaires after starting with just a few thousand dollars. It is possible, and it's not through mutual funds, and it's definitely not through bonds, okay? I know bonds are safe, 
And people love making 2, 3, 5, 10% per year at the max, but that's not going to make you rich anytime soon. This is what Wall Street does. They make you afraid of everything, especially penny stocks, and they take you into these, quote, safe investment products. FYI, mutual funds lost 50% of their value, just like the rest of the stock market during the crash of 2008. They were not safe. They were no safer than any stock that crashed 50 to 70%. And this is what really pisses me off. Wall Street is a multi-trillion dollar industry, and they make you think stuff that's not statistically accurate. Here is James Altucher, one of my buddies. He says, I've never met a successful FX or options day trader. To quote, I know thousands of day traders. Thousands. I know one successful day trader, and that's Tim. Thank you, James. And I'm also more than just a day trader, but it just goes to show you that he knows thousands of traders. He's been on Wall Street for decades, and they are not consistently profitable. So why is this? It's because there's too much competition. Okay, you have billion dollar funds and multi-billion dollar funds. You have dark pools where only some investors have access to real-time pricing data. You have high frequency scalping where you have these algorithmic trading going on programmed by these geniuses at Ivy League schools and guess what? They're taking half a penny here, a quarter of a penny there, 50, 500, 5,000 times over the course of the day and guess what? It adds up. That's why these multi-billion dollar funds do so well. Try and compete against an algorithmic trading program. You can't. It's like Terminator, okay? These are like the T4s, but it's reality. Humans, we're great, okay? We have heart, we love, you know, we're very, uh, I don't know, we're human. Machines, I'm sorry, are programmed by humans, and I'm not going to get into a whole debate about man versus machine, but they are cold. They are non-sentimental. They are efficient. We have a huge inefficiency, and when you try and go up against them, you will lose. The cards are stacked against you. This is what you need to understand about Wall Street and most of the investments out there. And this is why I'm not necessarily the most popular guy in the world, because I call stuff out. I call it like I see it. And everything I say is backed up statistically. A lot of people say, oh, Sykes is just crazy. Well, actually, if you look at the data, I am proving 100% right. But they don't want to see that. You just want to see little talking babies on TV commercials. Oh, let's get an E-Trade account. E-Trade sucks, OK? I do not recommend that broker. I am not a fan of them. Brokers, funds, mutual funds, they only care about fees. Hedge fund managers, sure, they're interested in trading profits because the more trading profits, they get a cut of that. But they're all sitting on cushy 2% fees per year. The trading profits just help show good performance, which lures in more investors, which grows their total assets. If you have a billion dollar hedge fund and you're charging 2% per year, your firm automatically is making $20 million per year for doing nothing, just for having a billion dollars in assets. If you have some good performance, sure, that's good. You get your performance up, you get some bonuses. But let's say the good performance brings in more investors and your $1 billion fund goes to $10 billion. Just because of the good performance and now your same 2%, now the company is making $200 million per year instead of $20 million. Now that's a bonus with no added risk. That's what hedge funds, that's what mutual funds chase performance because it gets their assets up. If a mutual fund or hedge fund can make 18% in a year, and the S&P 500 is up 16%, they are thrilled to death. They are celebrating in the streets. They're going to market that number forever. And they're going to say, look, we beat the S&P 500 by 2%. And colleges and family offices and big, rich investors are going to plunk down their money, and they're going to say, we want to beat the S&P 500 by 2%. And the average retail investor People with a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars, even a million dollars to your name. Who cares about two percent? Even if you have a million dollars, a million dollars, that's an extra twenty thousand over the course of the year. I know like twenty thousand dollars sounds like a lot, but as somebody who makes actually millions of dollars, it's not. Millionaires don't care about an extra twenty thousand dollars. Okay? And if you have $10,000 to your name, guess what an extra 2% does for you? 
an extra 200 bucks per year. Big whoop. That's not going to change your life. And this is the problem that I have with Wall Street. The current way that these investments are pitched, it doesn't make anybody rich very quickly. It makes the bankers rich. It makes the funds rich. It makes the mutual funds rich because they're collecting big fees. It pisses me off in case you didn't tell. And brokers need you trading more, okay? The brokers hate me because I say, no, only pick a few good picks. You have to have patience. You have to wait it out. And they just say, hey, are you in a bad losing streak? Trade some more. Maybe you can get it back. They encourage gambling because they make money on the commissions, whether you win or you lose. This is the whole problem with Wall Street. Algorithms see your orders before anybody, okay? When you put it in an order and 10 other people put in the same order, there's an algorithm out there that's watching all these orders and they're trying to scalp a half a penny or a penny or two cents a share off you. Wall Street is a massive organization. It's a massive evil empire like in Star Wars. And we are the force and we are small, but we are true and we are right. I hate this next bullet point. Firms trade against you. Did you know that? Did you know that brokers trade against you? Brokers look at all of their customers and they say, hey, this customer wins you know, 30% of the time. This customer wins 15% of the time. If we look at his orders and we bet against him, we'll win the opposite. So if someone wins 30% of the time and the firm bets against them, the firm is gonna win 70% of the time. The firm loves losers because they can just do the opposite trade. That's messed up. That is messed up. The firm wants you to lose, and if you win, the firm is not happy because now you're messing with the odds. So long story short, the cards are stacked against you. Wall Street does not want you to win, let alone get rich. The question on everyone's mind right now is, is the bull market over? I have a weekly newspaper article column, and I wrote uh, back in September three reasons that we might see the end of this bull market sooner rather than later. And within two weeks, the market had dropped nearly a thousand points. That's crazy. I didn't know that I was going to be dead on. People were like, how did you know? Go read the article. It's not like rocket science. I was just protecting myself. I was just saying, you know what, this is October. This is a dangerous month. And yet, very few people who have had blowout years. Listen to me. I've seen traders blow up five and six figure accounts recently. One trader in particular lost several millions of dollars that I know of. You know, most traders don't talk about their losses. I don't want to pick on the people who lost a little and are, are admitting it. I'm very thankful that they're admitting it. And I know a lot of people who lost a lot and they're not admitting it. The markets have gotten very tricky in the past few weeks. Early in 2014, you had marijuana stocks. Then in the summer, you had police camera stocks. And now Ebola stocks have all been hot. These are the sectors that have been rallying for various reasons. You know, marijuana getting legalized, police camera stocks due to the shooting in Ferguson, and now Ebola because it's very scary and it's, it's spreading, even though there's not that many cases. In the end, it doesn't matter if the bull market is over or not. There will always be another next hot sector. Let me repeat this. In the end, it doesn't matter if the bull market is over there will always be another next hot sector. Just think about that for a second. The reason why I bring up all this Wall Street conspiracy type stuff is, and I'm not alone in my thinking, it's the fact that you think that you need a bull market. The mutual funds, the hedge funds, they need a bull market because they're trying to make money off their assets. They're trying to make money off their performance. If they don't have good performance, their assets don't grow, their fees don't grow. That's how they make their money. They want bull markets. You, as a non-hedge fund, you as a non-mutual fund, you as a non-banker should not care whether it's a bull or bear market. In fact, I'm praying for a bear market, okay? We need some healthy consolidation. I love this drop recently. I hate the fact that so many people were unprepared and they didn't listen to me and they lost a lot, but it's still healthy overall. We have gone up far too much, far too quickly in the past few years without much consolidation at all. You need to think about this as a long-term thing. The stock market is not going to end tomorrow. The stock market is not going to end next week or next month or next year. 
It's going to go on and on and on for the rest of your life. And the question is, are you going to be prepared to profit from it over the course of your life? I know I am. I'm crazy about it. I study every day. I teach every day. I'm looking at opportunities every day. The key is learning how to predict the longer term trades. It's not just about today. It's not just about tomorrow. It's about how to really bank over the long run. And this, the reason why these bullets are bigger, is that I want you to trade less and make more. Every now and then I host some students down in my Miami Beach mansion, and the last little meeting I had, Mark Crook, one of my top trading challenge students who's made nearly three, what is he, 350000 now. We analyzed all of his trades, and we found out that 80% of his profits comes from 6% of his trades. If you have a lot of trades, I encourage you to post them to Profitly and analyze them. And I think you might be surprised to find that most of your gains come from a very small amount of trades. Overtrading is a huge problem in our society. Trading can be easy or hard. You need to find an edge. Okay? Here's a picture of a midget and Dennis Rodman. Who would you rather play or who would you rather have on your team in basketball? It's a very simple thing. Basketball is made for you know, people who have a vertical advantage, like Dennis Rodman. He's also an amazing rebounder. He's a little crazy, but the reason why NBA players are not under six feet tall, and I know there's a few of them, but the majority of the NBA players are tall because they have a vertical advantage. You need to find your financial advantage. The reason why I go over all this stuff as background is you need to think about this every single time you do a trade, every single time you make an investment. Do you want to make 10 or 20 percent per year? Is that really going to give you a financial advantage? Or are you playing the wrong game? Are you thinking like a mutual fund and a hedge fund? You don't get fees on the money that you have, okay? You as an individual, you don't make 2% per year automatically from some you know, random investor. Investors are not with you. On your money, you have to try and focus on how to grow it exponentially, as fast as you can, and while managing risk. So here's what I suggest. Play a game with easier competition, where exponential gains are possible. Do you want in? on this. Do you want to go long or do you want to go short? Are you willing to do both? Part-time trading or full-time trading? It's much easier to buy and hold for the short term because there's volatility, volatility, volatility. You have pump and dumps which go up and come down very quickly and you have small real companies with growth potential. You have indicators. Every single day there's a new indicator. You have breaking news, you have new contracts announced. Right now we're in the middle of earnings season. There's also blatant manipulation, which I'll go over. You have the choice though. Do you want to trade part-time or full-time? I can't answer for you. you know, we have people from all over the world joining me on this webinar and thank you for taking time out of your day for doing this. But the answer is different for everybody. The cool thing is that with penny stocks, with the kinds of stocks that I trade and the rules that I teach, you can do either or. It's not one or the other. It's not like, oh, I have a full-time job, or I have school, I can't trade. No, yes you can. I made my millions in high school and college while going to classes. Granted, I skipped some classes. Granted, I went to the bathroom sometimes in the middle of you know, high school classes. But it can be done. Here's an example. Just to show you some of the ridiculous percent gains you know, that Wall Street hates on. No mutual fund will like this trade. No hedge fund will like this trade. CNBC isn't going to talk about this company. And yet, this is the kind of company, DGLY, Digital Ally, that can grow your account exponentially. And you see that little red circle right there? That is when I put it on my buy watch list. And I said, guess what? This can go to 20, 22, or even 25 to 30 before it's over. I snapped this chart when it was at 29.86 just because I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. It actually went to, I think, 32 or 33 before you know, kerplunking and coming back down to the teens. But 
How did I know to put it as a potential buy under four? Because this is what's possible with volatile penny stocks. I know that Wall Street and Financial America and academia says that I'm crazy and that I'm the devil and that penny stocks are all scams and it's like the wolf of Wall Street and I'm here to tell you that's false. Okay? Those people want to keep you away from this game because it is easier. It's in their best interest for you not to know this stuff. If you know about stocks like this, you're not going to invest in mutual funds. You can care less about 10 to 20% yearly gains. You don't care about making 2% more per year than the S&P 500. You want to grow your account exponentially. And I know that there's people all over the internet who claim, oh, I can turn a few thousand into a few million. Well, I back it up. I had this on my watch list. Every one of my students knows I had this on my watch list as a potential buy, and several people actually took me up on it. I know one guy who bought in at five, and he sold in the teens a few days later. Mind you, this whole chart, this is a 10 or 20-day chart. The run-up really was over 10 days, you know, when you see these blue lines. From 3 to 30 inside of 10 trading days, 10 times your money roughly. Maybe it's like eight times your money if you want to get into specifics. But just think about how long it would take you to have a mutual fund or a bond fund or an ETF or any of that crap to make eight times your money. You can also profit from penny stocks that are pure garbage. Here is VOIL. This is the current biggest pump in the entire stock market. If you follow my blog on timothysykes.com, you'll see that I expose the lies about how fundamentally poor this company is, how they have less cash in their account than, I don't know, I mean, they have $25,000 in cash. I'm trying to make an analogy. But they have $25,000 in cash, and they're valued at nearly $100 million. And they lose half a million a quarter. And then they purchase some oil field that's in bankruptcy, and they have to pay $2.5 million. Where are they going to get the $2.5 million from to pay for it? And first of all, why are you buying an oil field that's already in bankruptcy? There might be something wrong with that oil field if it's already in bankruptcy. But the beautiful thing is that there are newsletters out there that are corrupt. And if you look and you see, and especially telemarketers, you will find people pitching this stock. This is a Wolf of Wall Street-like stock. There are telemarketers, actually they called a reporter in St. Louis and he wrote an article about it. Not too smart, those telemarketers. And they put a 10, 20, $44 price target on this company that was trading at a dollar. Actually 80 cents when the pump began. And it's nearly quadrupled over five months. I've been shorting it repeatedly. I was short it last night. It's fantastic. It's dropping. This is inevitably going to crash. This is the kind of stuff that I bet against. And I love penny stocks because of pure garbage like this. I know that we're taught to only love quality companies like Home Depot and Google and Microsoft and GE. I love garbage. I am a garbage man. I don't invest in the garbage. I bet against it because I know that it is going to be incinerated eventually. Today is October 27, 2014. Watch VOIL by the time it gets to October 27, 2015. Let's see what the stock price is. My guess in the next year, this will trade between one and five cents a share, a drop of 95 to 99%, maybe even 100%. I can't predict the future. But I know where this is going to end up because it's manipulated higher through promotional mailers and telemarketing full of lies. Guess what? That's what I call an edge. You don't know what Google is going to do. Look, here's a 150-day chart of Google. 150 days ago, the stock was at 560. Five months, it is now at 540. And what have you done? You've invested in one of the greatest companies on planet Earth that gets talked about tens of thousands of times per day by the financial media and every single investor in America. What is Google going to do? And in five months, the stock has done nothing. And if you pull up almost every single Fortune 100 company, it'll be a very similar stock chart to this. And yet, people still talk about it. CNBC, Bloomberg, TheStreet.com, MSN Money, AOL, Business Week. 
everybody wants to know about Google. Their automated cars, their new drone shipping stuff. It's all irrelevant to you as a small time investor or a trader. This is what I need you to understand. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, but if you look at this data, it goes nowhere over five months. What have I done over five months? Over the past five months, I've made nearly half a million dollars in trading profits. And it ain't on stocks like that. It's on garbage stocks like VOIL because I know how it's going to end up. It's easier. I am Dennis Rodman playing against people who necessarily don't have the same height that I do. Guess who's going to win in basketball? If you have a basketball court full of NBA players, you don't know who's going to win. Everyone's the same height. Everyone has amazing skills. But guess what? If you had a court full of one team NBA players and the other team was five-year-old children who were no taller than four feet high, guess who's going to win in the basketball game? If the NBA players try as hard as they should without you know, feeling bad that they're playing these, these little children. You need to have an edge. You cannot trade stocks like Google and get rich. But I know I sound confident. Some might people say that I'm too confident. I know what I know. Investing versus trading. Nobody can predict the future with 100% certainty. Notice I didn't say VOIL will definitely end up at zero. I don't know. You know, maybe they'll keep it alive. But in all likelihood, it will drop substantially. Because guess what? Here's a little fact that Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Most stocks go down over the long term. That's right. Even in the greatest bull market in the past century, most stocks go down over the long term. If you look at the statistics, over 70% of the stocks that trade drop every single year. How are you going to navigate a minefield where nearly three quarters of the stocks that you might buy are going to drop? Tell me this. Why have I predicted stocks roughly 75% of the time in the past? My track record speaks for itself. Everything I say is backed up by statistics and facts and profits. Let me give you a few examples. It's not just me killing it in any market. Check out these great stories. Michael Good, aka The Reaper. He was actually one of my first haters when he first found out about me. This is why I encourage hating. A lot of people say, Tim, why are you so, you know, why do you encourage these haters? Like, just focus on being positive. I find that something with my personality or my track record or my quarter of a million dollar Lamborghini or mansions or trips or my big mouth, something pisses people off. And I've learned to accept that especially when it's bad TV editing. Thank you, Bravo. But no matter the haters, I turn them. I turn them like a trader on the TV show Homeland. Michael Good said I was full of BS. We went back and forth on his blog in the comments. You can still read it. Read the blog post. Timothy Sykes is full of BS. He gave my teachings a try. And now he actually, <laughs> against all odds, became my first millionaire student late 2013. He's up, I want to say, $1.4 million now. He had some trading success, but he didn't have all the rules before me. He made $100,000, then he lost $100,000. With my strategy, if you look at his profit chart, every trade detailed, he does not have those big losses. Speaking of big losses, Tim Grittani. He has had big losses recently, but it's not because of him following my rules. It's because of him breaking my rules. And the way that he turned 1500 into 2.4 million was mainly by following my rules, playing it safe, not using leverage. I know that sounds like an impossible feat, 1500 into 2.4 million in four years. Well, guess what? He did it in every single trade you can see online. Ivan B, stock realist, great guy. He's nearing $100,000 in profits with my strategy. He bets much smaller. He's still learning. But... He's up nearly six figures in just a few years. Bob Garrett is up several hundreds of thousands of dollars. So is Tim Bowen. And Asim John is one of my favorite stories. He started out as one of my interns, but he kept learning. I paid him a little bit of money because he manned the live chat. He saved up $2,200 to start his trading account in 2012. 
and now that 2200 has grown into 270,000. He no longer runs my live chat. He said, Tim, it's with a heavy heart that I can't do customer support anymore. I have to focus on trading. I'm, I'm making a lot of money. I gladly let him off the hook. I love that. And in my honor, which is one of my greatest honors, is he named his son after me, Little Timor. True story. I have pictures. I mean, my mom sends his son little baby clothes. It's, it's amazing to, to have somebody named after me, and I'm, I'm truly honored by that. But more than honors, I don't want buildings named after me. I don't want any of that crap. I don't want statues. I don't, I don't even care if you like me. I really don't. What I do want you to do is bank, and I want you to understand that you can make a lot in the stock market. If you notice, I'm a little passionate because Wall Street has lied to everybody. Okay, They have lied to everybody about how they make money and how individual investors and traders should theoretically try and get rich, and it's all BS. And I'm here to show you, guess what? You can get rich quickly. You don't have to use leverage. You don't have to play guessing games. You don't have to compete against billion dollar hedge funds. There is nothing different between you and my successful students. Here were some of the students, six students I brought on a $12 million yacht. You can watch the show Below Deck, which just aired on Bravo. They made me look terrible. They edited out every single trading scene that I had with my students, who, by the way, all had a great time. We traded. I actually made $70,000 while on the yacht, which the TV show did not show at all because they wanted to make me look bad, and that's fine. I accept that editing, but they cannot take away the time that I had with my students on that yacht. And those students, Bob Garrett, Blake, Brian, Riggleson, Ivan, Tim Bowen, all of these guys have banked with my strategy on their own too. It's not just about trading the exact same stocks, it's through my teachings. This is what gives me the most pride. I need more. I want more. Who is next? This is a picture from CNN Money with Tim Grittani. I went out to Ohio to witness him passing a million dollars. Don't ever, don't ever doubt my passion. You know, this is what I love seeing. $1,500 into a million and now over two million in the next year. Amazing. But I want more. So you have two decisions to make right now. I know where the gold mine is. Let me be your guide because the market is perfect, especially now with all this volatility. Let me go to work for you. Again, let me repeat that. This is a job interview. I'm asking for me to go to work for you. Or you can lose money trying to figure it out yourself. Those are your two options. I am crazy obsessed with making my students money, researching stocks like you have never seen. I have no life. I have gained 50 pounds in the past year. I know. I'm going to go on the elliptical after this webinar. I'm going to get healthier. But I just want you to understand that this is what I live for. It's not about the money that I make. I already have my millions. I had my millions before I even started teaching. But every new student millionaire that I create, I take immense, immense pride in. And it comes down to this. In three hours, I will teach you what it would take you three months to figure out on your own. There is a cost to being ignorant. I'm sorry to be blunt, but it is true. Because I've been in that situation. I've been on the other end of this webinar with no guide whatsoever. And I'm trying to figure it out all on my own, and I do. And you will figure out every single thing that I can teach you in 15, 20, 30, 40 years. You know, I've learned everything in 15 years, every single day for roughly 15 years. So if you want to work and study for 15 years on your own, that's fine. Be my guest. You're going to make a ton of mistakes. You're going to miss out on a ton of opportunities, and you're going to waste time and opportunity, and I hate that. That is the cost. Time is a cost. And ignorance and time can both be very expensive. You simply cannot afford to be ignorant. I would hate it if you say, you know what, Tim, I don't like you. I don't like your attitude. You're crazy. I would hate it for you 15 years from now to run into me or see me on 
TV or somewhere in 15 years and say, you know what, I remember, I, I attended a webinar from this guy. And in 15 years, you'll see me crowded not just by six top students, but by 6,000 top students, all of whom are millionaires thanks to my teachings. I would hate to be you at that moment in time and regret missing out. Think about that. All right, here's my prediction. Here is what I predict will happen. I predict I will have many, many, many more millionaire students because no one else works as hard as I do. No one else is as crazy as I am. No one else has the sole dedication to creating millionaires through video lessons, watch lists, stock picks, commentary, reinforcing rules, and keeping everybody safe like I do. And I predict that the smart money with an edge will continue to kill it, no different than NBA players playing against children in basketball. If you have an edge on the basketball court or in the financial markets, you have better odds of winning on every single trade and investment. And I predict that the market will weed out the wheat, no different than how they weeded out the Wolf of Wall Street and the Wolf of Weed Street. Both of those guys. The Wolf of Wall Street was a scam artist. The Wolf of Weed Street was a glorified newbie. Both of them lost everything, or almost everything, and they lost all their followers' money because they were not determined to follow rules that have worked for over a decade like I am. I want you to trade less and make more. I want you making smarter trades. This is what I live by. There's a lot of people out there who make 10, 20, 50, 100 trades per day. They're going to have a heart attack decades before I will. And they're not even going to be that rich. They're going to do all that work all because they are obsessive compulsive gamblers. I hate that. Hire me. Hire me right now. Let me work for you. Just think about that. You know, here I am saying, look, here's what I know. Here's what I do. Here's my passion. I'm actually asking to work for you. Let me find the indicators. Let me do all the research. Let me show you the long-term picks as I trade them live. This is a job interview. I'm showing you my qualifications. I'm showing you my craziness and my dedication. My goal for you from this webinar is to make a full-time living trading only part-time. This is what I want from everybody. I hate people who make some money and they waste their entire lives making all these trades. I hate people who, you know, lose and they make all these trades. I don't hate them. I feel bad for them. I want to change them. I want to help them. I don't hate anybody. You know, the Wolf of Weed Street and his crew said some terrible things about me. It was all out of ignorance and naivete. And I hate that. I absolutely hate that they lost so much money. You know, they wanted to donate money. And I was saying, hey, if you lose everything, you can't donate anymore. And that's true. Whatever your passion is, I want you to be able to have the financial freedom to actually be able to capture it. So here's my question to you. Because I have created several millionaires already and will create several more very soon and many more over the long term, are you next? I don't care about people who are not interested in being a millionaire. I'm not here to debate is money the root of all evil, money can't buy happiness. I'm not trying to debate anything. I'm trying to say I have a formula and a strategy and rules and a blueprint for creating millionaires. Do you want to be one, yes or no? That is my question to you. Not if you're going to be happy when you're a millionaire. I can't answer that. All I can do is get you to millionaire status, as I've already done several times. You need an unfair advantage, and I'm giving you that unfair advantage. Because guess what? My proof of concept worked. I have created several millionaires. I'm not trying to be an ass by bragging about this. I'm showing you the stats to back me up. This is my batting average. Go ask everybody on Wall Street, how many millionaires have you created? Show me all their trades. How long did it take them? How many losses along the way did you have? It's time for me to scale the amount of millionaires that I have created because I want more. 
And here's a FAQ. Does being a student guarantee you success? Does it guarantee you'll be a millionaire? No! I am not saying I am going to create every single person on this webinar into becoming a millionaire. You have to put in some time and effort. A little bit, not so much, not like a crazy amount. Again, I want you to make a full-time living the part-time time frame. But what I can do is fast-track your trading. I can fast-track your ability to become a millionaire because I've seen it all just through my trading and now my students trading. The proof is in the pudding. Here are some emails I just copied. Dear Tim, my name is Paul B, aka Polis B. I'm profitably. I just wanted to tell you my story and how I got to this point of becoming one of your challenge students with over $17,000 in profits in my first month and saving me from disaster had I kept following the wolf pack. Polis B, I've written about several times now. He actually just had a trade based on my teachings that I did not even see. He nailed it. He turned $700 in one trade into $5,000 the next day. No leverage used. Classic, classic penny stock breakout. Did it all on his own using my DVDs and video lessons and teachings. I could not have been prouder. Tim Anderson says, people how, ask me how long it took to make what it costs for the Timothy Sykes Challenge. Over 100% gains each year is pretty good if you ask me. Here's Patrick. He emailed me, Tim, you are the man. Much respect. Congrats, I really mean that. P.S. I'm up 210000 on your strategy. New Bentley GT? <laughs> I love that, okay? I absolutely love the fact that he doesn't focus on the money at first. He says, you are the man. Much respect. P.S. I'm up 210000 on your strategy. I haven't even, I, I can't even keep track of all the testimonials. It's really kind of awesome. So here is something new that I have, small cap millionaire. This is my longer term newsletter. Here's an example of one of my long term picks, You On Demand, YOD. I held this for several weeks in the twos and it was going nowhere fast and it was being pitched as the Netflix of China. And guess what? Within a few days, it doubled from the twos to the fours and I sold. My students and I made $70,000 plus. Within the next few days, it actually went to seven. I bring this example up not to show you, oh, I can pick stocks that double, but to show you that I'm not trying to be perfect, okay? I didn't know that this stock would take so many weeks before it finally spiked. I knew that it had potential, it had the right characteristics, it fit my whole framework for buying hot penny stocks. And I did not time my sell anywhere near perfection. And we still made nearly six figures in just a few days when Everyone else was like, oh, this is the Netflix of China. And now the stock is back down, and I'm still watching it, but it was there. The trade was there. The profits were there. Here's Blake, actually. Blake Alexander, he's one of my finest challenge students, and he was on this $12 million yacht with me for the TV show Below Deck, and we were trading. And I, I really, you know... It's one of my great disappointments that such a popular show that gets over a million viewers per episode, they had us for three days, we made some great trades, there was great camaraderie, and they didn't show any of that because they wanted me to you know, basically look bad like the wolf of Wall Street, even though I was showing all my trades and I was even teaching the crew and they were getting into it. They didn't show any of that. It sucks. But that doesn't change the fact that Blake was using StocksToTrade.com software and he spotted the stock EKSO in the high fours, and within a day, it was up to the eights. My students and I made a quarter of a million dollars. I bought at roughly five, and I sold at roughly 6.2. I made $70,000, thanks to this yacht. And there wasn't even good Wi-Fi. I actually had to call in the, the trade. And I bring this up just to show you that you can trade from anywhere. I was on a freaking yacht with hardly any Wi-Fi, being filmed in front of camera crews. But small cap millionaire is not just about stocks that spike in a day. It's about being prepared for those kinds of spikes. Seeing it ahead of time in your mind's eye. Understanding that you can position yourself ahead of time and you don't have to day trade every single day. You don't have to be in front of your computer every single day. You just have to be ready. My goal for Small Cap Millionaire is to help you trade just a few hours per week. 
It is not day trading. You do not have to be glued to your computer or a chat room or message boards or CNBC or Bloomberg. Small cap millionaire is for my longer term trades only. And you learn to trade a handful of stocks a month for serious gains. And my longer term trade strategy can work with any broker. You don't need to wait on shares to short. I know a lot of you know me as just a penny stock short seller. Well, guess what? I made my first million by buying penny stocks. I go long, I go short. I trade short term, sometimes I trade long term. Small cap millionaire is designed for longer term investors. I want you to sit back and relax and let me work for you. I want you to trade part time, but be able to make a full time income. So with Small Cap Millionaire, you're going to get my 60-day getting started guide. You're going to get my long-term trade alerts as I trade them. And this is not stocks that I hold for like a few hours or a few days. It's weeks, months sometimes. You also get weekly video lessons and research reports on the best long-term stock picks that I come upon. The buy alerts are for trades longer than 24 hours, even 48 hours or 72 hours. Also, you get introductions to the best brokers for long trading. And you get to work with me for a year and have Q&A with me. But here's why you have to think quickly and act quickly. You have 60 minutes to get them. Even during my sales, I have never discounted prices on small cap millionaire before. My long-term newsletter is my baby. On the next slide, I will give you instructions on how to get this great deal. This is your chance at getting an edge and getting a great discount. But you have one hour to claim it because I only want dedicated students. I don't want people to say, oh, I'm not sure. If you're not sure, don't waste my time. I want to change people's lives. I want to create more millionaires, but only if you want it. If you get started right now, you save $1,000. This is my little incentive to say, you know what? If you want it, if you want to save $1,000 right now, you talk to me in the next hour, and my team and I will talk back to you. This is my way of discovering dedicated students and discovering who is worthy of being my next millionaire student. $1,000 doesn't mean a lot in the real world. It doesn't mean a lot over the long term. But what it does is give you an incentive to join right now, to say, to stand up, to say, you know what? I want to change my life. I want to be a millionaire. If this isn't motivation enough, I will also give you a 60-day money-back guarantee trial run on Small Cap Millionaire. Let me repeat this. If you contact us, and I'm going to give you the instructions in a second, in the next hour, you will get $1,000 off and a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you do not like it after 60 days, you don't have to pay. It doesn't get better than that. To get the $1,000 discount and the 60-day money-back guarantee, you have to take action now. You have 60 minutes from this minute to get this deal. You must take these steps right now if you want to save $1,000, if you want a 60-day money-back guarantee, and if you want to take your first steps into your future, away from the Wall Street BS, but based on a strategy that has statistics and example after example after example and more examples coming of more millionaires. You need to email admin at timothysykes.com right now. The title of the email, say, I want savings. The body of the email, I want your first, your last name, your email, and your phone number, and my team will contact you. This is how I scout for dedicated students, okay? You know my story, you see my students, you see my strategy, you see my history, you see my passion, and you see my dedication. Now it's time to see who wants to be a dedicated student. Who wants this special deal right now. Let me repeat these instructions. You have to be very clear. I don't want there to be any misunderstandings. Email admin at timothysykes.com right now with a title of the email that says, I want savings. In the body of the email, enter your first and last name, your email and your phone number, and let's get started. If you want to trade short term, if you want to trade long term, 
If you want to make a full-time living trading just a few hours a week, this is for you right now. How badly do you want to be successful? That's my question to you. That's what all of this is about. Whether you see me on Below Deck, if you read about me in the November issue of Men's Journal, if you find me on the web, if you watch one of my YouTube videos, if you look at my students, I don't know where you're going to find me. But the question that I have for you is how badly do you want to be successful? This is my sole task on this planet. This is what I wake up to every single morning. This is why I work 16, 18 hours a day. There are people out there who just say, oh, you know what? I'm just going to teach and, and it's fine if they learn. It's fine if they don't. It is not fine. I am the most dedicated teacher you will ever meet. But I need dedicated students. So again, email admin at timothysites.com right now and let's get started. Thank you.